Yo, what's going on, guys? If you're watching this from YouTube, thank you if you're here live on Twitch. Thank you as well. Um, we're gonna go over a little bit of a, a market watch. I think it's a good time to do so. We probably should have done one when 1.5 released. Um, have something to compare, but I'll kind of let you know my thoughts, what I've been seeing in the market. I've been watching it since then. We just haven't done an official recorded market uh, market watch. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, run through it. I got it pulled up here. Uh, we see Digimon cases, uh, way too expensive IMO. Uh, there is product out there though. That's good. Uh, Tamer boxes. There's one posted at three, what is it? 24. Uh, this is down like 25 bucks, maybe since where I saw it earlier in the week. Um, pre-ordered, you could have got these a little cheaper. Uh, it's not, not a, a terrible price at 325. If you're really wanting the alternate cards, if uh, you already have the cards and you're not looking for alternate arts and things, then this is probably something you can live without. Man, uh, Omnimon alternate art. He's posted at 300 bones right now. Uh, I saw him as low as maybe 130 when 1.5 came out. I think a lot of people who had bought and uh, hoarded this card, uh, or collected this card, they decided to sell a couple of them uh, to make room for things they wanted in 1.5. Uh, I expect the same thing to happen when Great Legends comes out. So if you want one of these guys, I'd suggest hold off. Uh, do pick one up though um, by the time we get the reprints, right? There should be some reprints anywhere from a couple months to I think June. I've seen some posted dates for it. So uh, get them then, I'd say wait now. Great Legends boxes. Uh, obviously the price is hiked. They're coming out soon. It's hyped up. Um, pre-orders are probably sold out everywhere. So this is somebody who's got a pre-order too. They wouldn't mind, you know, letting go for like probably double what they paid for it. Uh, 1.5 boxes at 160. Not too bad. Um, 150 is kind of what we've been seeing for the, the current aftermarket secondary price for a sealed box. Omni Alter S. Uh, this guy, 165 at the moment, uh, I saw him fluctuate anywhere from like $112 is probably the lowest I saw him coming out at 1.5 release. Um, and then he's right around 160 is kind of where he's settled. Looks like he's going up a little bit since earlier in the week. Um, Omnimon Alter S regular art, uh, is coming back down. It's at 118 now. There was actually a time where... Uh, a couple two three weeks ago probably now it was more expensive than the alternate art i think a lot of people like the art on this one better um so i thought the community was going to try to try to push this card higher than the other but uh for whatever reasons it didn't seem to work but i think they tried um omnimon base 1.0 omnimon uh regular art he's at 111. uh this card is Probably come up 10, 12 bucks since 1.5 release. Not tons. Um, he's a pretty stable card in the market. War Greymon, uh, the Black War Greymon alternate art. He's at 112.75 right now. Um, I saw this card as high as 140 posted. I think somebody bought them out when 1.5 came out. Uh, other people who had them have been posting. Uh, it dropped down to about 100. Now it's back up to 112, so it's slowly climbing. Uh, War Greymon's just a popular character in the show. Uh, right now, not a whole lot of play on this card, but maybe in the future. Um, Gaia Forces from the Tamer box. They seem pretty stagnant, to be real honest. I haven't been watching those cards as closely. Lilithmon. Uh, I think she's creeping up. She's an alternate art, and she's also a waifu, so if you believe in that, pick one up. If not, wait for it to come back down. Again, there's reprints coming. Uh, I do think this is going to be... The alternate art version is going to be expensive card no matter what over time so if you're looking for one of these again just like the omni alter s I'd, I'd say try to wait for the reprints and then and pick one up as a single or uh, maybe get lucky if you buy some product then beelzemon uh 115 he's creeping up you can see from the market price uh he's been bought out a little bit and then reposted um this is a good card um alternate arts obviously very cool uh, not much to say other than it's creeping up five listings if you're wanting an alternate art specifically. Um, you know, get one before they go away or get one by the time the reprints come out and before those go away. Um, Hammer Spark, Flower Cannon, 
looks like that's dropped a bit and then hammer sparks on the rise i really haven't watched these so i'm not going to comment a ton uh dion boramon this is a guy i'd like to talk about these come out in the tournament packs which you have to show up to an event a lot of people uh don't quite yet have events in their area uh or they're or they're closed down for covid or things like that so these are harder to get um you do notice each week that a few more of these go into the market because there's more tournaments, more of those packs released and opened. People find this card. Um, it is creeping up though. Uh, it was as low as like $55 maybe two weeks ago. I ended up buying a couple of them off the site. I saw there's like eight listings at the time. Uh, there's five now. He's creeping up. People have been buying them out. Come set five with Armageddon Mom. He's going to get more popular. Um, the deck will actually be a thing. And then people will want this card. I don't I don't know that it'll be tier one capacity or tier zero, anything like that, or, or where it will stand in the meta. Uh, but it'll be fun. It'll be different. It'll be something that uh, people don't normally expect to see. Uh, kind of in like your, your general easy to obtain meta, right? Like your rush, rookie rush decks and things you're you're more likely to see from people who have fewer cards. Um, Shine Greymon. This man was up to $75 around the around the release, uh, probably the following week or two. I ended up trading for a couple of these. I expected him to crash a bit. Um, I just really like the card though. He looks cool. I didn't care if I lost a little value on trades. I uh, just, I really liked him. Uh, I figure he will go back up in, in, over the long term. Uh, honestly, I expected him to crash more towards the $50 range and he's at 60, uh, $65, kind of holding strong. He was as low as 60. Uh, last week um, It seems like it's a stable card in the market um, at the moment and I believe we're getting a new shine Greymon red with the, the Structure decks that are coming out or, or maybe I'm saying that incorrectly the 1.0 1.5 um, Special theme deck or probably still not getting that correct um, So I do expect some more shenanigans and some red yellow hybrid decks to come out and uh, maybe see a spike in popularity and then uh, he might fall off a little bit. Uh, something to keep in mind is how many listings there are. There's 20 listings at the moment. That is actually fewer than I've seen. So he might rise again uh, in the short term. Uh, Andrew Wilmon promo, three listings, 75 bucks. This card is ridiculously expensive. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna have or make more of these. It is a really rare card. That's why it's so expensive. There's a playable, you know, common, uncommon version. Um, Personally, I just go for that unless you really, 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 really love yellow and you think you're going to be playing that card for a long time or just want to collect it. Um, Galatmon, this man, where's he at? 50, 97. Sorry, it's on my other screen there, a little far away from me, uh, but I got it in your guys' field of view. So around 50, 55 bucks, he's been fluctuating. Uh, I've seen him go up to as high as 100 and get completely bought out. Uh, and then I've seen him dip back down you know from 100 to like that 50 55 range so people are expecting uh there is some support being released for Gallatmon, other cards that interact and make Gallatmon stronger there's a uh, a theme deck with Gallatmon coming out lots of Gallatmon support coming in the future so i think people are just trying to stack up on the alternate arts now uh while they're a little cheaper um but still probably be a good time to get your hands on some if you're trying to uh kind of resell um, again, everything will probably drop a little bit when we get the reprints, but it'll probably be quick. Uh, it'd be fast and furious, right? It'll probably be for a weekend. So if you're waiting on those, uh, make sure you're, you're ready. Black War Greymon. Uh, this is an interesting card. This is a card I had a couple of. I actually traded away. Um, it was at, I think it was valued like $63, $65 when I had traded it. Uh, we saw it plunge as low as maybe $55. Uh, and then, I mean, I guess here... Uh, market value of 53 so it's fluctuated quite a bit and fell down and, and now it looks like it's climbing again um i suspect the same thing's happening with this war Greymon uh from the 1.0 set you see my mouse hovering over this one from 1.5 it's the same thing uh it's just very popular uh there's they're expected to be support in the future i suppose or people are hopeful that there is because of how popular how much they like it i mean it'd be like if dragon ball super card game came out with a goku and then didn't offer goku support uh it's probably coming so people are anticipating this one uh it looks like it's on the rise deals them on look at this 44.99 this is actually the first time i'm seeing this uh for myself it's dipped um considerably i mean this was a 60 55 dollar card for the longest time and now it looks like uh, it's dropping down. I think it's a very popular card. I don't know 
how it's going to match up in the future versus um, power creep, things like that. If you wanted a Beelzebub to either collect or just to have or in case he's good, uh, 45 is not a terrible price. I suppose he might plunge a little more uh, again with those reprints, but uh, I'd say probably think about picking this up uh, at this point. Otherwise, uh, if you want to hold off, uh, obviously that's your decision. Or Greymon. Alternate art, 120 33 uh, market price of 5028. So you can tell somebody recently bought these out. There's only six listings, uh, and it was six people that said, "Hey, uh, I'd rather you know have double the money of what this card used to be worth rather than uh, hold on to it." So there's a few people trying to get rid of it. There's a few people trying to collect it. Um, that card's in a weird spot. I suppose we'll touch base and look at it during our next market watch and see what happens. All right, uh, Metal Greymon. Oops. We didn't mean to click on him there. Metal Greymon is at 90 bucks right now. Uh, he just got re or bought out the other day. Noticed, uh, I think he was up to about 120. So people are speculating on this card. I think this is um, definitely a card that's gonna go up over the long term. It's a secret rare. It's an alternate art of a secret rare. Um, it's a key character in the show. Uh, everything about this card, this rarity, everything about it just screams collectible, right? Uh, I don't think it's super playable right now. Uh, not that it's unplayable. I do run one currently in my version of Red Omni, but uh, you're not going to be throwing four or want more and tons in your trade book, you know, right? So um, if you have these, you know, if you want to make a quick hundred bucks, you could do that now. I'd suggest holding on to it. If you want to play the long game, uh, he'll probably go way up. Aramon. Tournament promo uh, currently at 48. This man's been 40, 45, 48 dollars uh, since I've been watching him. Uh, he doesn't seem to move. Uh, he is a very powerful level three that adds a thousand uh, when it's your opponent's turn to your Digimon. Uh, that seems like it's going to be good for a long time. There is another Karamon that lets you draw when you have two uh, characters of the same uh, name on the field. So he essentially becomes like a, a Gabumon, a three drop draw card. And then he's got this sweet inheritable bear with me we're getting a little some ads here i'm gonna mute that quick let it pass all right back to our music so caramon uh, i've been really you know i don't have any of these and i've been hoping and waiting for him to drop again he's a tournament card and comes out of those promo packs so that's what makes him so rare um he is a level three drop which is pretty much just as important as your higher level six or level sevens just the opposite end of the spectrum right so if you have really good level threes um i mean that's that's uh it's a good thing to have i mean it's i want i wanted to say there that it's almost as good as having the really powerful level sevens or sixes or your end game to start off with stronger characters right you want your, your digi evolutions to be strong all the way through and through um Piedmon, he's dropped a little bit. This is the alternate art version. Uh, popular card from the base set. Very good. Um, he's been 40, 45 bucks for the longest time. Same thing with Imperial Dramon. I haven't seen much movement out of that. Uh, it's a very good card, very playable card. Uh, alternate art version, not much else to be said. TK Takashi, when 1.5 released, uh, this man was roughly 30 uh, 25 30 bucks he rose to the 30 35 range uh people bought him out he hit 70 for like a day and a half and then he dropped back down to the 45 range so is he hyped up right now yes do i think the hype's uh worth it or deserve yes uh when i look online i look at some meta decks from bt5 he's still one of the tamers that's used uh so you're going to be using this card in the english meta for another three four months you're going to be seeing him in, in decks and it's going to be prevalent i don't really see his price crashing below the 30 or anything uh anytime before that so imperial Jamon dragon mode secret rare alternate art 38 bucks uh i think this thing was closer to 60 when it was first released it's just crashed quite a bit i haven't really seen much play uh, i've seen it in the webcam duels a couple times but uh not too many people are playing this card it is rare and collectible though it is at a cheaper price so uh, if you like it from the show or you think it might go up because of its collectability rare uh, rarity that kind of thing it, it's not a, it's a decent time to pick it up if you believe in that card uh mastamon 
closer to 40 bucks uh, upon release. Hung out at 40 bucks for the longest time. Uh, he's dropped down to 35 now. I do see a little increase in play with this come Lushimon. Uh, not that that's the best combo with Lushimon, but uh, it's a combo that works. So people will be interested. Millenniumon. This guy was around 25 bucks prior to the release of 1.5. He shot up all the way to around 40. And then he's held pretty steady. Um, I just don't think this is a card that was... Maybe my polls were just different, but I don't think this was a card people pulled a whole lot of in 1.0. Um, it's very good. It's a level, It's the only level 7 right now for uh, black and purple combined. There's the Omni Alter S for black and red, obviously. Um, but right now it is the option if you're, if you're playing purple to do level 7 with your deck. Uh, so that's why he's popular. He's also really strong. Comes back onto the field once he's destroyed if he has uh, Digi Evolutions underneath him, etc. So you have to kill him twice. Lilith Mon, regular art card. Uh, again, this is a card that was 20 25 bucks going into 1.5. Uh, it's caught a lot of popularity. I haven't seen it. I mean, you see a couple. I've, I've seen purple decks in play, and you see a couple per deck, but uh, I, I think this is more the waifu aspect. She is very good, but I think people just realizing that 1.0 is kind of gone and passed. We're waiting for reprints. She's a waifu. I think that this card's a little overhyped on the price. Um, if you're really desperate for Lilith Mons, maybe get one. Um, if you have a couple and you can hold out on finishing your playset or your collection or whatever, I'd try to wait for the reprints on this. Premium pack set one. This is what I was talking earlier that has the, the 1.0, 1.5 and the Shine Grey Mon. Uh, more interested on, on, on the name. We'll skip over that though. Uh, excited for those that are released. Metal Guru Mon, BT2 uh, alternate art. This is from the 1.0. This thing shot up. Uh, it was like a 25, I even think like a, it was like a $14 card, honestly, um, in 1.0, uh, hit the 20, 25 range by the time 1.5 came out. And then I believe there was cards posted in the future that this is going to, this is seeing some play in like set five or something like that. So, uh, people are buying out the alternate art, causing it to rise. Uh, Ultra Force Vidramon. This man was maybe 42, 43 bucks when the set first came out. He's kind of settling uh the 35 30 range so he's dipped down a little bit uh we just haven't seen as much Vidramon um as some of the other decks in the meta right now and maybe when we get the uh little starter decks that have the Vidramon the, the Gallopmon the Vidramon that they were announced uh this might go up Metal Greymon Tamer Pack uh one this thing I think was closer to 100 bucks it was brand new this is from a, a tournament pack uh, at our locals, only one is given out to the person who wins the tournament. So these are these are very rare. It's not like your regular standard tournament packs where, you know, uh, half the crowd gets one depending on the size of your locals or your event or everyone gets one. Uh, like I said, depending on how many players there are, how many, how many packs they have to give out. This thing's been crashing. Um, people don't really play it right now. I haven't ever seen it in a game, uh, partially because it's rare. Um, Partially because of the meta and the game currently. I, th I think there's playability for this thing in the future, definitely, though. Um, it's got a nice inheritable on it, so. Let's see. At a three cost, it is a little expensive for a five, but uh, you do get a draw card if you get that inheritable kickoff. Uh, Ragna Ragna Lordramon alternate art. This thing uh, is 37 at the moment. It's come up from 32. I know over the last like week or so, we've seen an increase in Ragna Lordramon red. Uh, people are trying to make Ragnalordramon black red work. Um, both decks are very viable, very fun. Um, so that's why this card's seen an increase. Just somebody got it. It took the community a little more time to get a hold their hands on Ragnalordramon figured out. Um, Demi Devimon. This card's increasing a little bit. Again, this is a tournament pack promo card. Looks like it's up around six bucks from the market value. Uh, only nine listings. Uh, there are what is it i think uh, uh forgive me i don't play purple right now and i'm not super familiar but i think there's like a an imp mon or something that does uh like a three card mill instead of two um it's always good to just have more options it's a three drop um, you know that way you can run eight cards if you get your hands on them that do roughly the same thing uh so we'll keep an eye on that one we'll see what happens with purple he a boromon uh let's see 43 74 he's coming up uh, 3106 was the market value of the average of the recent sales. Um, 
this card again he's just spiking because of set five uh armageddon mon diabor mon promo all that supports on the way people are just wanting some nice shiny things by the time that comes out imperial jamon dragon mode uh this is almost the same price as the secret rare uh sorry the alternate art of the secret rare i just picked that up at the time if you're wanting to collect this card um this one will probably keep crashing kari kamiya uh alternate art full art this thing i saw as low as maybe 20 bucks uh when the set was first released 1.5 uh it was raised all the way to 40 it was bought out placed at 40 uh started to sell again around the 30 dollar range right so right now it's creeping up again uh, i think a lot of people are you know either getting or tk is just too expensive and then they look to this next uh, as far as trying to collect it trying to hold too many of them uh that kind of thing uh just wanting them for their decks Ooh, uh kurasarimon two listings right uh this thing's at 47.98 it's way above the market price so people bought it out and um hiked up the price i can tell you i finished my play set of these uh, a couple weeks ago i picked them up for around 25 bucks i saw just kind of what was happening with diabormon in the tournament packs and uh i think this is a very good card it only costs four um it can be splashed into any deck maybe that's not the smartest thing to do but if you're wanting extra blockers and you don't want to pay your standard uh five memory cost uh I, I think this thing's got some great tech ability we haven't seen it in the meta yet um let's just keep watching that uh if not it's going to be played in diaboramon i'm really trying to make some kind of some spicy tech work with this card i really love it i think it's sleeper um it's on the rise so we'll see what happens i'm, I'm sure it'll fall down a little bit um we're going to skip over blue starter deck 30 bucks nothing too exciting there they are dropping a bit um really that red one over here at 35 that's about the standard price uh for secondary market you were lucky and got them for 10 bucks at a target you know good for you magna angemon alternate art uh 34.99 again uh yellow is going to be increasing in power going through set four set five so if you're wanting to play yellow, you're wanting to look flashy. Uh, that's why these people are picking up the alternate arts. I uh, will do one more page here. I'm not going to go through the entire uh, set of all the Digimon, right? But we'll take the, the top several, uh, three pages, kind of get a feel for it. Flower Cannon. Uh, it's at 28 currently. Uh, this thing was closer to 40 at 1.0. People ended up selling a lot of them and, and getting rid of them for other cards is what it looked like. This thing was as low as about 25. I considered picking up a couple more, uh, but they're just other cards I wanted from 1.5. Play sets I wanted to finish, things, etc. Uh, so we're still waiting on the, the flower cannons for myself personally. Uh, around the $25 mark is not a bad price if you want to pick these up. Um... Vigermon Secret Rare Alternate Art, 35 bucks. This thing's on the rise. Um, I suppose it's probably from the Ultra Force Vigermon um, starter decks that are coming out. Um, That's why this would arise. I'm guessing, you know, this being level four. Um, and with those coming out and the extra support, that that's why we're seeing a rise. People are speculating, finding combos, maybe looking ahead, right? There's Mon, 27 bucks right now. Uh, it has come up a little bit. It hit as low as 25. When the set was released at 1.5, this was a $35 card. I traded for a couple of them at that value. Uh, it's down to 27. Um, I think this card will come back up in time. I still see Sarah's Mon being played in set four with Chaos Mon. Um, maybe just not four Sarah's Mon in your deck, maybe three, maybe, maybe even two and, and just uh, it's just part of uh, green uh, as opposed to everything that your green deck is trying to do. So if you want an alternate art, if you want a cool one uh, around the $25 range, not uh, not bad at all. Metal Guru Ramon, uh, $30 card. This is where he was uh, when 1.5 came out and then he dipped to about 25. He's back up to 30. Um, pretty stable alternate art. Not too much to say there. Or Greymon. Uh, he's been a $22, $25 card. Uh, oh, 25 at 1.0. Looks like he's dipping now a little bit. Uh, if you're needing to complete play sets, maybe now's a good time. There are 30 listings. Uh, maybe he'll dip even further with the reprints. We'll, we'll see how how heavy those are and how it affects the market. Trying Greymon. 23.49. I believe this is the lowest I've ever seen him. He was a $25 card and then a $35 card like the first week, two weeks he came out. I think he hit 25 and then 35 when people realized how strong it was. 
Um, now he's dipped back down to 25, and now we see him kind of plunge a little bit below that. So uh, again, this is the lowest I've ever seen him. If you believe in Shine Greymon, don't have it, want to collect it, uh, it's not a terrible time to pick it up. Hydemon, 25 bones. Um, this is really... I expected this card to go up just because he seems like he was harder to pull in 1.0. I know I only got one out of my boxes that I opened. Ended up buying a couple at 25 before 1.5 release, and here he is. Uh, he's held value. He hasn't crashed. He hasn't raised. Uh, so we'll see. When 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 there's more uh, talk about purple and when purple is more prevalent in the meta, uh, maybe something will happen with this card. He's pretty stable right now. Infirmon, uh, promo pack, level 5. Uh, this card's really good. We It's seen a little fluctuation. It's been as low as 20. Uh, it's been as high as around uh, 30 or so. Um, I try to pick it up around the 2025 range, you know, wait for it to dip again. Mimi Tachikawa, um, alternate art, $32.99. So it's recently been bought out, four listings left. I think people are just bought out all the other tamers from yellow, so they're moving on to other colors. Oh, you see red down here as well. So I expect this will drop a little bit. It is a tamer that's used in set four uh, and some deck building that I've seen from Japanese metas. So uh, it's likely to go up, but uh, it might it might come down in the short term too. It really depends what happens over the next week. If more people start posting these, they see the low listings and the higher price and, and want, want that or uh, if, they, if they hold their investments. So Zudamon... Uh, SD2 Tamer Pack. Okay, so this is an alternate art. Again, it looks like it's on the rise. Um, regular Zudamon's like 15 bucks, I think. So twice the, the price for an alternate art reprint. Uh, is this thing shiny? I don't think I've ever seen one of these. I'm guessing it has like a some kind of shine or sheen to it, but I can't really tell from the image. Uh, Rosemont alternate art, 25 bucks. Um... Looks like it's come up barely, like a dollar. Um, not much to say about that. It's been stable. I don't see a lot of play with Rosemon. I'm not sure about the future. Metal Greymon, 20 bucks. Looks like he's dipped a little bit. Um, I think this card's really good, again, in Red Omni versus Shine Greymon and versus other Red Omni. The 3,000 Inheritable DP uh, is sometimes worth the extra, you know, from two to three uh, Digivolve cost. And sometimes you guys are playing uh, Tamer Memory Battles anyway. Uh, I think this card should be worth more. Um, also, it has Greymon in its name. I could see a lot of things interacting with this in the future. Uh, this wouldn't be a bad time to pick it up at around 20 bucks if you don't have one of these or you want to make sure. Gallatmon, regular uh, edition. Looks like people are, um, this one's pretty stable around 20. People are more interested in the alternate arts and, and trying to collect and uh, get those. Uh, Intusara, or men. Intusaramon, sorry. Uh, 40 bucks right now. Recently bought out, reposted. You can see seven listings and it's like twice the price. We'll see what happens with this. Uh, it is a strong card. It's going to get better going forward, but um, we'll see. I don't personally, I don't personally like this alternate art. Just, just the art on it. Um, other people may, I might be the odd fish out on that. So we'll see. Uh, we'll keep an eye on it. And we'll touch base next time we come through here. Vidramon Secret Rare. It's the regular uh, version art. Twenty bucks. Uh, ha haven't seen any movement on this. So people are just trying to go for secret rares, it looks like, on this Vidramon. Um, they're just trying to make sure that they have the alternate art secret rare, or the alternate art, sorry, I said secret rare. Uh, Black War Greymon, uh, he was as low as 16 when the set first released, and then he creeped back up to about 20. 1845 is not a terrible price. If you don't own one of these guys, maybe get your hands on one, save it, collect it, in case it becomes more prevalent later. TK Takashi regular art. Um, Sorry, I clicked there. 13 bucks. Um, yeah, this card's insane. Uh, just for Shine Greymon, uh, there's other decks that this will be used in, but uh, it's regular rare. A little hard to believe that it's been pushing like the $15 mark, um, most of 1.5. So definitely a card you need. Uh, definitely a card you don't want to have to shell that much out for. Uh, Mega Kabaterimon, GT1 Tamer Battle Pack. This thing's on the rise, and to be real honest, I haven't even seen 
battle pack. Yeah, this isn't even anything that I've seen uh, in play or anything, this alternate art version of it. So we'll keep an eye on that one. I don't have too much to comment, not too much advice there. Uh, Heaven's Charm, Hammer Evolution Pack again. Uh, I haven't been watching those too close. No real advice. Matashita, 17 bucks right now is the purple full art tamer. Again, people are just moving on from yellow and trying to get a uh, hold of these. If you want these, uh, try to get them sooner than later. They are just box toppers. There's one per box. Um, you'll obviously get lots of the rare version, but if you want the full art, uh, the alternate art, then you know I'd assume get them sooner than later. Um, Craniumon. This guy was around 20 bucks when 1.5 came out. Looks like he's down to about 16 now. Uh, very cool alternate art. Uh, cards not played a whole lot. I could see it being played more in the future. And that brings us through our first three pages. I'm going to let you guys go there. Uh, I do appreciate you coming, hanging out, watching the Market Watch. I hope uh, I was able to spread some insight. Uh, if not, I hope you were entertained. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. If you're watching on Twitch, give me a follow. Uh, any of that free stuff helps. Likes, comments, down below, all that. Uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Yeah.